I V M. Hello and welcome to the Habit Coach Podcast, the bite-sized podcast filled with quick and easy actionable habits. Remember, great habits create that awesome life. I am Ashton Doctor, your Habit Coach. Today's fun fact of the day has to do with to-do lists. Did you know that about 83% of people still like to make handwritten to-do lists? Even in today's digital day and age, they find the experience of crossing something off and putting a tick mark very satisfying. Speaking of which, 50% of the people surveyed admitted to adding already completed tasks to their to-do lists just so that they could tick them off again. It's insane how much we like the idea of ticking things off. These stats come from a survey of over 600 people. What is interesting is that many still had their lists from 2 or 3 years ago. The lists were like a diary of their life. What is interesting is that if a task did not get completed and kept getting pushed the next day and the next day after that, it was a never-ending cycle. This is what happens to our best intention habits as well. Have you ever noticed the gusto with which you start off a new habit? Let's say meditation. Day 1 you do it. Day 2 it's done. Day 3 you miss out on it. Feel bad and think you'll make up for it the next day. Day 4 you miss out on it again. Very soon before you know it, the week is over and you've missed 5 days in a row. This is what I call the rule of 2. It's perfectly normal to miss one day of a habit. We are all human and it happens to us all. We cannot unnecessarily be strict about it. But never ever 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 miss two days in a row because now skipping meditation or finding that excuse has become the new habit this rule of 2 is very powerful for each day you miss a habit missing it becomes the behavior missing your goal is now the habit the problem is that we become masters of making excuses masters of not doing what we had planned i remember a friend of mine wanting to learn to cycle By day 3 of missing her practice, she had all sorts of excuses like I'm wearing the wrong shoes, I'm wearing the wrong skirt, I didn't eat lunch, so I'm feeling a little woozy. We become expert at excuses. Such expertise that we believe our own made up limitations. How many times have we heard people say, "Oh, I can't give up sugar. Oh, I can't meditate. Oh, I can't wake up early." These are all just excuses we have created for ourselves. The most devastating problem with the rule of 2 is that very soon we stop seeing results. Without seeing results we wonder what's the point of it all? Why are you trying so hard? The villain here is our short term memory. We forget that we've been skipping the habit for the last 5 days. Instead, we just feel the habit is useless. So the best way to break this rule of 2 is through a process called tracking. I like to use a tiny pocket book You carry this around with you everywhere you go and write down every time you do a particular habit. Fill it up with details like meditated for 20 minutes at home or what time you went to sleep and how you're feeling the next day after waking up. The fact that you have to write it down creates a certain gravitas or level of importance. You are not likely to miss that habit. The pocket book acts as a reminder. Every time you see it, you remember you have a habit to do that day. The notebook also helps in breaking your bad habits. If you want to spend less money, then write down every time you pay for something. Want to quit smoking? Write down every time you light a cigarette. Get inventive with the way you start tracking. Write down every episode you watch on Netflix just to see how much time you spent over the week. Tracking is a very important tool for habit change. So your simple habit to start tracking is to carry a small pocket pad with you and make a note of the habits you completed that day. If you absolutely refuse to carry a notepad, get a habit tracking app from the App Store. Have a weekly review of how the habits are shaping up. And remember, never ever 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 miss two days in a row. So start these habits and share with us your progress using the hashtag #thehabitcoach. If you like this podcast, don't forget to check out other interesting podcasts on the IVM network. You can listen to us on the IVM podcast app. or ivmpodcast.com you can also follow us on social media we are at ivm podcasts on twitter and instagram if you want to reach out to me i am ashtin doc on twitter and instagram
Hey Meghna, do you know how to citizen? Hey Shreyas, do you know how to citizen? Hey Meghna, do you know how to citizen? Hey Shreyas, let's just do a podcast about it. Let's do a podcast about it. A podcast is called How, how to, to Citizen. citizen. In every episode we get a new guest and discuss one chapter from the 8th grade civics textbook. Think about it as uh, three friends revising before a test uh, and we go back to school. There's nostalgia, there's trauma, there are lunch breaks, there are favorite teachers, there are horrible teachers, there's everything. So every Tuesday we bring in a guest on the podcast and we ask them a very simple question. Do you know how to citizen? I uh, make not I think the question is do you know how to citizen? But Shreyas I'm asking you this question do you know how to citizen? Advertising is dead. Yep you heard me right. Advertising is dead. We're all in the content business now. Let's not call it news, TV, radio, etc., etc. It's all content, and we're in the middle of this weirdly exciting phase where all the borders and lines that have been drawn over decades has been swept away by this lovely thing called the internet. We're a show where we don't dwell on just the stuff that is now, but rather the wider stuff about advertising, media, content, and the whole goddamn circus surrounding it. Tune in every Tuesday for our weekly unboxing of the mystery box we used to call advertising. I'm Varun Dugirala, co-founder and content chief at The Glitch, and this is my new podcast, Advertising is Dead. Advertising is Dead.